a life-changing event that can begin with the smallest of signs. Boy, so true. Thousands of Americans suffer a stroke each year. And as Fox 17's Justin McFarland shows us, a growing number of them are young adults in the prime of their lives. Let's get dinner. Chris and Aubrey Tooley were just beginning their life together. But that life changed when the 27-year-old man felt a tingle in his finger. I had a Diet Mountain Dew, and I took a swig of it, and I couldn't swallow. And I just remember panicking. He also had pain in his neck and numbness in his face. Thinking it was nothing more than a pinched nerve, he waited five days before he went to the hospital as the pain just got worse. Everything went numb and it was kind of down to my hands. I, I did, I'm mean, like, okay, this is clearly something severe. This isn't a crick in my neck. He couldn't believe his ears when doctors told him he has spontaneous dissection. It's a form of stroke. Many cases we don't know. In many cases it happens only once and never happens again. Dr. Howard Kirshner is a neurologist and director of the Vanderbilt Stroke Center. He says the most common kind of stroke in young people is called dissection of an artery. It can result from an injury. The injury can be very minor, can be a, a blow to the neck or a, a heavy coughing spell or sneezing spell, a very minor whiplash injury. With blood thinning medication to prevent the clots from forming, the dissection can actually heal itself. It's possible, and he may have a slightly higher risk than the average person his age, but uh, it's also quite likely that he'll live out his years without having this happen again. And Thule plans to live out those years to the fullest. After weeks of physical therapy and medication, his life is almost back to normal. It's pretty humbling when a doctor comes in and they get teared up telling you that you're going to make a full recovery, recovery and they don't get to you know, share that with people very often, especially mm -hmm. with a stroke. Justin McFarland, Fox 17 News. Now, according to the CDC, the country's highest death rates due to stroke are in the southeastern U.S.